Tyrion was a nice man. His wife loved him. His son loved him. The people he was governing over loved him. Now, you see, Tyrion was a paladin. And he was there to fight the orcs during the war. And that taught him the value of peace. When well, instead it should have taught him the value of having the biggest sword. But he wanted his people to be safe. So I guess that's good. Anyway, one day Tyrion goes out and about like a lamb to his death. And finds an orc named Ettrick. And since his yearning for peace was only for his people, he decided to fight the orc. And they start fighting in an old watchtower. But you see, it being old and the writers not caring about it, the tower was in ruins. And Tyrion was close to becoming a number, another number on the yeet of, ca of caused by falling. Debris, I mean. Falling debris. But he didn't become one. Because once a piece of tower hit him and he went to his sleep, which many would have presumed it's going to be asleep forever, he woke up later being patched up by his second in command. Somehow he realized that the orc took care of him and saved him, which Edric did. Though it's a good question what made Tyrion think of that. Anyway, once Tyrion started feeling better, he goes back to the orc to thank him. Then the orc starts to tell him his woes. We was shamans and shit. I've lived the whole life brother. And other stuff that orcs tell each other or told each other during that time. Tyrion goes like, yeah, I won't tell anyone about ya. Tyrion won't tell anybody about Edric, that's true. But remember Tyrion's second in command? Well, apparently he didn't like that this so-called... He didn't like that. He didn't like that so much that he called up Sidon Datrahan. Now, if you're wondering about him, Sidon Datrahan is still a paladin. And he's one of the first five paladins alongside Tyrion and Uther and two more that I forgot about that well, were firstly inducted in the Order of Paladins. So you might know they have a history. Oh, Turalyon. Yeah, I forgot about Turalyon somehow. And then there was Gavrin, like the dirt something. You kill him in Warcraft 3 anyway. So this guy calls up Sidon D. And Sidon D and some hunters go to capture the orc. But then they meet Tyrion and the orc. So, of course, Sidon D knowing Tyrion, he's like, yeah, move over, we're here for the orc. And Tyrion will let them capture his brother. From another mother. And so he fights against the hunters. But Tyrion and the orc get captured anyway. Why? Because no matter how strong your paladin powers are. When you're outnumbered you're just outnumbered. Now the next events happen in Stratholm. It's a very nice place if you play Warcraft 3. You know what happens to Stratholm. Some will say a tragedy. Some will say it's good. Eh, depends. Now, in Stratholm, they want to put Tyrion on trial. Now, his family wants him to abandon Ettrick. His closest advisors want Tyrion to abandon Ettrick. But Tyrion won't do it. And you see, the jury for Tyrion's trial was made of very important people. Admiral Dalen Proudmoore, Archmage Antonidas, Archbishop Alonus Fowl, and Prince Artris. Which... Many of us have bad experiences with. So, she, so you see, these guys decided to strip Tyrion of his rank as a paladin and send him to exile. Luckily for Tyrion, Uther kind of convinced them to not send his family into exile, sins, in the father, sins of the father and all. Now, you see, his child needs to grow in a proper place and not his father that's living like a nomad gypsy. Oh yeah, by the way, after this they strip Tyrion of his uh, paladin powers. Somehow that's possible, I don't think that ever happened again. I think the paladin powers just leave Artris when he becomes a death knight. So, after the trial, he goes back home with his family. He bids them farewell, and he promises them that he will come back at some point. With milk. Yeah. But you see, 
rather than just going to the woods and trying to find a better life for himself, Tyrion goes back to Stratholm. And for a penny and for a pound. And he tries to save his brother from another mother, Ettrick. Now, you see, Stratholm isn't really like one of those uh, towns that barely have any guards. It's a city, a well-defended city, that was just uh, part of a big trial. So, of course, Ettrick is guarded by a lot of guards, ironically. But you see, to his Tyrion's luck, some orcs start attacking the city of Stratholm, and that lets Tyrion break the orc out and leave the city. Now, during the whole breaking out and let's leave the city, the problem is that his brother was dying. Because, of course, Ettrick got fatally wounded. And now, Tyrion falls to his knees and asks the light to heal the orc. You would expect it not to work, but surprisingly enough, it does. It, it really does work. And the light heals, him, heals the orc up. Which I... Okay. I guess the light has a mind of its own, right? Well, later on you find out. Now, out of the blue, and into the black this time around, these two unlikely brothers get surrounded by orcs. And this will kind of spell death for them, but they were in luck. These were not the orcs of old, but they were orcs of new, to call them like that. They were orcs led by Troll, current war chief of the Horde, who now invites Edric back into the Horde with promises that now we are shamans and shit. Now, Edric decides to accept the offer because why not? Sh shamans or shamans, whatever. Before he leaves, Edric told tells Tyrion that they are now brothers. And so much w was this moving and so powerful it was that Troll holds Tyrion in high regard. Probably the only human besides Tarita and later on Gina Proudmore. So what happens next? Well, Edric goes back to the Horde and, did, and they do Horde shit, which includes leaving uh, the Eastern Kingdoms, but with Tyrion. Well, Tyrion's still in exile, so that's one thing. His son thinks he's dead, so that's not really gonna help the family dynamic at some point. But you see, later on in his son's life, when he becomes enrolled as a paladin, Tyrion is there to watch him. Because, of course, he's present in secret. Nin-nin. <laughs> 